we heard over the years of schools already using my book to talk about the issue of bullying. And a lot of times they'll use it to talk about literature as well as this issue that a lot of them have just recently started to tackle the past few years. And we just figured if they're already using it, if they want another way to approach it by hearing from the author, we'll offer it up. And over 700 schools applied for this, which was amazing. And I think it's so cool to see that so many people are trying new ways to talk about these serious issues. I, think, I mean, YA has been around for a long time, but it's only really exploded since the early 2000s. So it's still relatively new compared to a lot of other, you know, whether you want to call it a genre or age groups that are, you know, really talked about. Like for myself, I never read a YA book until um, I was an adult. I just I wasn't aware that they were out there because there weren't that many out there. So when I first got into writing, I wasn't writing YA books. And so I think it's, you know, more people are discovering YA as adults, so more writers are starting to write it. What my frustration really comes from is you know, I hear from readers all the time saying that my book was their first time feeling understood. And, and I think that's sad. You know, I don't think a book should ever be anybody's first time feeling understood. But they would, if they hadn't read my book or other books dealing with these things, they would have gone on even longer feeling misunderstood or not understood at all. And especially for somebody who might be depressed, that's dangerous. You know, they need to know that there are people that will understand. So. I get the adult uncomfortability with these issues. You know, as an adult, if I saw my kid reading something like my book, my first reaction would be concern. And I think that's understandable. But it's only it would only be a concern because it's uncomfortable to talk about. But it goes on, so we have to talk about it. One of the things, especially on this 50 States Against Bullying tour that I'm on, the thing that I hear most often specifically about this tour is students who have been bullied or they've seen people they care about being bullied. And what they'll say is they, they love the fact that so much of their school was hearing this message at the same time. You know, it's not necessarily that it's going to eliminate bullying. I don't think anybody thinks that. But just addressing the topic, you know, knowing this many people in your school have heard about this is going to make it harder to go right back to exactly how things were.